So why would a prepper channel want to have anything to do with TV antennas? Well, when we come back, I'm going to tell you why. All right, folks, welcome back. So kind of a weird topic today. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible with it because I understand not everybody's going to be interested in it. But this is something I've been thinking about for a while now. I do have a small little portable digital TV that I keep out here up on my counter up there. And it's kind of over to the side. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to pull it out and do a little testing on these antennas in a bit. But um, to be honest with you, I thought today about how I gather information. During an emergency or disaster, what's the first thing I do? Usually put the TV on a news station. Now, with the advent of digital TV, there is so much more out there, and there are a lot of free news stations on the air. And I always felt that TV normally is pretty much a wasteland, but during times of emergency and disaster, you can get real-time info from watching it. I was thinking back to what happened the morning of 9-11. It was like 5.30 in the morning. I was on the East Coast, and boom, I wake up to see, you know, the tower's on fire. What did I do? First thing I did, run into my room and turn on the TV. So it definitely has a place. I've watched people during floods, fires, stuff like that, wildfires. What's the first place they all turn? Their local TV stations for information. So while I'm a big advocate of shortwave radio, ham radio, and other types of communications, having yourself a TV set, even if you don't regularly watch TV, is an important prep. Now, why the antennas? Well, this is what I was using before. This came with that little portable TV, the little mag mount. And quite frankly, it stinks. <laughs> it really doesn't pull a lot of stuff in. Um, I had it magneted, magneted up to the, you know, again, this is my garage. I have my little garage door opener that goes up that way. And I had it on top of one of the rails where nothing will touch it. And it, eh, I mean, it pulled in the local TV stations. We do have a local low power TV station here. But um, I wanted to pull in more. And I wanted to see what was out there. So I decided to test out these two antennas here. They're both from Antop. And we're going to get into them really quickly. I'm going to tell you a little bit about each one. Then we're going to put each one outside and see which one I prefer. Now, I got a feeling it's going to be this omnidirectional one, this little UFO looking thing here. But what we're going to do is focus on each one. And I'm going to explain to you what they're all about. So give me a little bit of time here. Let me explain to you why I'm doing this. Maybe it'll make sense to you, too. All right. So the first one, and probably the first one we're going to test, is actually kind of a surprise to me. <laughs> I thought this was going to sit on my uh, my shelf up there. It turns out it was a lot bigger than I thought. Um, this is actually an outdoor antenna. It has a 85-mile range. Um, these are your little VHF enhancers, as they say. And this is the Antop big boy it's the at 400 bv one thing i was interested in is they say it has a uv coating for weather resistant finish now if you guys know anything about the desert and the desert sun and the way it beats down on stuff you know full well that's going to be good to test out in about six months from now actually i was thinking about doing my antenna indoors and when i got these i realized i can mount both of them outdoors or just put them outdoors and see how well they work but i think the smaller one is going to be my choice i'm not sure yet so this is a whole house solution. It can feed multiple TVs. It has smart pass technology. It amplifies the range from about 75 to 85 miles an hour. There's a little plug that comes with it and some coax. And of course, all the mounting stuff. It's very intuitive to put together. You literally, literally just screw on those two poles and that's about it. And you screw in coax in the back. I'm testing it in here. I was able to pull in a lot more stations than I was. So when we try it outside, we're definitely going to see how it works. Weighs about 9.8 pounds. The frequency range on this is 87.5 to 230 megahertz and 470 to 700 megahertz, right in that DTV range. It's about 10 inches, 10.8 inches tall, 6.4 inches wide, and 22.4 inches long. So it's not as small as I thought. That's cool. We're still going to try it out and see how it would work outdoors. Uh, and again, I think a television during times of disaster and emergency, of course, if it's a small enough disaster where things are still broadcasting, is a very important information gathering tool. And I'm going to be setting up a little bit of an off-grid monitoring station out here where I'm going to have GMRS, FRS, uh, the uh, ham radio stuff, and possibly a 10 meter or all band, all mode HF rig out here. And the TV is going to go over on that side, and that's where I'm going to set it up. So 
What I'm going to do first, right now, is we're going to take this guy outside, and we're going to give him a try. I'm going to scan the stations and see what I can pick up with him and see if it's any better. All right, so this is how we did it. I have it right up there. Again, it's not permanently mounted. I want to decide which of the two I like better. I literally have the cable running just right into the garage and plugged into the TV. It's loose, but it's up there tight enough where it's not going to fall down. We're just testing these out. We're going to see which one we like better and then mount that one a little more permanently on that pole. That's the pole that goes to my 2 meter 440 antenna outside there, the Diamond 333A, I believe. Anyway, let's get inside and see what we can pick up. Now, we recently lost some of the towers over on the mountain from the snow and everything. So I do have to do a rescan to see what I can pick up. And then we'll see how well this antenna works compared to that little stub that I had in the garage. All right. So here's this little tiny TV that I have. And again, I use this for emergency situations. It is battery. It also has a plug. It's kind of dangling back there. But uh, I probably plug it in normally. And when the power goes out or during an emergency, I have backup. So we're going to turn it on. And I'm going to go to the menu. And I'm going to scan and see how many channels I can pick up. Just mounting that thing out there very, very basically. All right, so we are auto scanning. And like I said, we did lose a bunch of TV channels recently from that uh, repeater up on the mountain, the translator site, they call it or whatever. So we're going to scan it and see what I come up well, with. One thing is for sure. I can tell you this is picking up a ton more than that little stupid stub antenna. I've got 38 programs right now digital 38 channels now remember you are going to plug this into the wall for the amplifier this is the little signal amplifier in the back here let me give you a look at that okay so that will be your signal amplifier yeah we're up to 45 it's doing really really well so far so i'm impressed again uh once this is done i'm going to let you know about the other antenna and we're going to test that one out so let me let this finish and i'll bring you back when it's all done and we'll see how many channels we got all right so you can hear the audio on this you can see it this got i believe it was 78 total channels now remember when i go to the final channel on here it's going to show 33 point something every channel has a bunch of sub channels on it so as you can tell here, let me roll backwards, 33.5. Now this is stadium out of, out of Las Vegas. I could never get this. You see how clear it is? This TV. So you can see how incredibly clear this is. Now if I wanted to say, I'm going to get out of here. This Prime TV, HSN. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff on here that is, quite frankly, not all that exciting. But you will see, there's Newsmax. We got uh, One American News on here. The picture is incredibly better. It is not stuttering. It is not stopping. Sometimes with the uh, local channels, I get that kind of stop motion or the blurring or the digital interference. So as you can tell, this is really impressive. Um, really, really good. Now, if you live in a city, you'll probably be able to get way more channels than what I can get out here. But for me, rurally here, I'm impressed with this little antenna. It seems to be doing an awesome job. There you go. We had a little bit of aggravation on that one there. See, a little bit of, little bit of thing. But that is out of Vegas, so that's really not bad, especially since it's more of a directional antenna, and I don't have it facing that way towards the mountain. And as you can tell, there's another version of that channel, another channel 13 out of Las Vegas, and that's coming in awesome. So enough on that. Let me take this antenna apart, put it away, and we're going to talk about the other antenna, and then we'll try that one out. All right, so next up is this um, Antop. This is the UFO Dual Omni Smart Pass Amplified HD TV antenna. Again, I'm more interested in um, local area stuff. The other one I could probably pull in. I did pull in a few from Vegas, but I'm more interested in local area stuff. I think I can mount this a little bit easier. It also has a little bit of a standoff from my uh, antenna pole. And it does come with this little J-pole mount if you want it. I got a feeling this is going to go towards another ham project, though. <laughs> but shh, don't tell them. Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing with that. But I'm pretty pleased with the antenna so far, the one I tested. We're going to try this one out now. Now, this one's a little bit different. You do have to screw this in and screw it down. Okay, and you have your connector, your coax connector on the bottom. This is an amplified antenna, again. So you will need your coax. This is the mounting kit. And you will need a plug for it as well. What I'm going to do with this is do a channel scan again. And I want to see about how far we can get. But I'm going to give you some information on this. This is an omnidirectional complete coverage reception pattern. 360 vertical and 360 horizontal. It does match the performance of mechanical antennas. You know, the big beams you see on the roof. So it's kind of more of an omnidirectional, but yet beam in a, way, a weird way. Don't know if that makes any sense, but it kind of is how they're explaining it. Again, UV coating 
weather resistant finish it does feel nice i will see how it holds up to the sun i got a feeling in a few uh months of summer it might turn a little yellow but as long as it holds up i don't really care as long as it works this does as well as the other one have the 4g and the 3g and 4g blocker okay i'm sorry 3g and 5g blocker it blocks unwanted signals so if somebody's using your cell phone their cell phone around this thing it won't you won't pick up that that annoying buzz drives me nuts 15 inch diameter on the top here and it has a frequency range of 87 to 230 and 47 470 to 700 megahertz the weight on it is a little bit lighter it's 5.40 pounds 15 inches around 5.91 inches uh, thick and 15.35 inches across this way so all in all not as big as the other antenna um, but a little bit more of an omnidirectional pattern so let's get it outside same place i'm going to put it up on that pole same place and we're going to see how this one performs all right so there's the second antenna we put it back up there uh mounted it a little bit better this time because i got a feeling this is the one i'm thinking i'm going to keep up it is very easy to pull back down if i decide not to literally four screws down it comes unscrew it from my tv but uh so far i'm liking the way it looks it isn't too intrusive it's not obnoxious that one was very very heavy and i think that would have done better maybe on a roof um or a chimney mount kind of thing but for me this here is perfect so let's bring it inside test out the reception and see what it gets all right so i literally just threw this back on here um plugged it in i haven't scanned yet we're going to scan in a second but i have that antenna outside now and i have it plugged in it has a little amplifier circuit on the other end there and we're pulling in channel 13 great that's out of las vegas better than the other channels so i'm going to rescan bring you back and tell you if we get more than i think i had 33.5 before let's see if we get more than that so we're about 64 65 percent here we got 55 channels pulled in so far that's pretty darn good i'm going to see if it does any better um, there's our 33 34 35 so we're already past that we may not get more than what we had but i do like the installation of the uh the um, antenna a little bit better for my use it's also very quick to take down when i need to move it so so let's finish up and i'll bring you back all right we're back and i'm going to show you again we got the same probably the same amount of channels let me see we go backwards yep 33.5 so we got the same amount of channels it's a little bit of a smaller package for my personal usage and i gotta say i'm i'm impressed with how well it's working this i never used to get the 33 channels at all or they would come in they'd come in very digital and, and blocky so i'm actually pretty darn um, impressed with it this is lv tv las vegas tv free to air that's the fta and again this will save you um the hassles of trying to use these little antennas they send with oops i'm all mixed up here these little tiny antennas they send with these units and it also gives you a way to gather information if your cable systems are down if direct tv is down and this saves you a ton of money you know when you got 200 dollars, 140 dollars cable bill every month this saves you a ton of money and it's basically free the antennas they're a little on the expensive side we'll get you the prices on this one the other one i showed you the big boy that was 143 this one's 117 this little the ufo but you see here's the deal you're done you get it once forever and you're done you never have to mess with it again you never have to do anything with it it's just finished so i kind of like it i'm kind of impressed with it i'm going to be setting this up permanently i put it up top there but let me back you up i'll give you some final information and where to pick these All up right, so there are your options i just wanted to give you guys a little look into some of what i'm doing to improve my communications and remember communications isn't always two way sometimes it's one way sometimes you're receiving info if there were to be a major disaster in somewhere in the country i can guarantee you at least one of those news channels would break in and have live coverage and in local disasters too flooding fires whatever wildfires you guys that live in california that have to deal with that every year this is an excellent way to keep track of your local stations without paying a dime there's no 200 dollars a month subscription or anything that saves you more money so you can buy more preps to be honest with you anyway that's the video for today i want to thank antop for sending these along i am probably going to be not using that one i'm definitely using that one but uh only because they both work the same as you saw i scanned and got the same amount of channels they both work the same you get beautiful picture quality i don't know if you can see that it's a sunset um but definitely impressed with it and i'm definitely happy that i'm able to get a whole lot more channels now than i was able to get 
with this little guy. And like I said, I'm not going to throw this out because there could be situations in the future where maybe I want to take this with me somewhere mobile. I don't want to unhook that antenna every time I want to go somewhere. So that's my option. Anyway, folks, I thank you for joining me. The links will be down below. And like I said, this one here, this one runs 143. Okay, a little more expensive. And that one there is a $117.50, $117.50. The links will be down below. I know it seems a little expensive for a one-time purchase, and I know that Amazon is filled with, you know, oh, indoor direct TV antenna, you know, get all your channels, indoor digital TV antenna, get all your channels for free, you know, and um, some of them work, some of them don't. I know these work. I know they work well. And in a pinch, when I really need to know what's going on in the world, I can turn on this and know that it's going to work. If you're interested in the TV, I'm going to leave a link down below. I picked this up ages ago and for that reason, to monitor, you know, any kind of local video stuff that's going on. And uh, that's why I picked it up. So I'm going to put it back up on its perch and run all my wires and get all that finished. But I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check the links down below for both of these as well as our Amazon affiliate store. If there's nothing in the store that you like or if you're not interested in buying any of that, whenever you shop on Amazon, just click the link. We really do appreciate it. Helps us out. Our freeze-dried wholesaler link, remember today is Friday, okay? Today's the last day to get in on the pre-sale for that lobster. So definitely check them out. Below that are my Patriot supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. We got tons of good stuff on that site for you as well as $200 off a three-month kit of food and our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Thank you for watching, folks. Stay safe and stay prepared.